Jade is a geological material that's been used for hundreds of years for sculptures, vases, pendants, and even axes to ceremonially dispatch enemy warriors. Today, around 300 tons of jade are used each year at anywhere from $10 to $100 per kilogram. And large finished pieces can cost thousands of dollars, so clearly jade is a valuable geological product. But what is jade exactly? First of all, it's not a specific mineral. You don't find crystals of jade. Jade is an aggregate of microscopic crystals, so it's actually a rock, and in fact, most jade is a metamorphic rock. Some of the best jade in the world comes from New Zealand, where it's found in cobbles along rivers, within glacial moraines, or along the ocean shore. The cities of Hokitika and Greymouth are the centers of the jade industry, and a lot of the activity revolves around small family-owned shops like this one, located on a busy street in Greymouth. We spend a lifetime trying to involve something that's different to what the world has had or seen. You know, you, as artists, you say, well, what am I going to do next? Yeah, right. Well, right, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. And my eldest son has just completed a workshop studio for me at home. And like I said, the shop is my life, so... <laughs> Why don't you tell us about when you first started? It was one of those things, from a young age, I always wanted to um, carve jade. Just growing up with my father, doing it. Um, since I was able to walk, we pretty much were looking for jade on the beaches and up the rivers. I think I got to the age of 15 and I decided, right, he's away, I'm just going to do it. I'd say I'd watched him carve, so I decided to go out and I turned the machine on and grabbed some little pieces and made them. And he came home and, they, and I told him I made them and he didn't believe me, he thought they were his. Um, he taught me quite a lot and now I'm really enjoying it. So We've got a saw like okay. this at home right. with a vice. Okay. And the voice runs through, and then you pull it back, push it over, okay. and you've got a perfect slice. All right, so you start out with a little a little pebble cobble size, and then you, you cut you cut slices. How, yep. how thick are those? That's about the thinnest you'd go. You have to look into it for cracks. Oh, okay. I realize there's, there's a fault down here. There's a beautiful green section here. There's another nice piece here, which I could maybe make two earrings out of there. So the next step, now that I've drawn it out, I've worked it where the cracks is, is to cut that out. There are two types of jade. One type is composed of the mineral jadeite, which is a silicate and a member of the pyroxene family. This type of jade is often called jadeite jade. The other type is composed of one of two minerals belonging to the amphibole group, and this kind is called nephrite jade. Nephrite jade usually forms when two rocks of very different composition wind up side by side. During metamorphism, nature smooths out chemical differences through a process called metasomatism producing a new layer of rock composed of tiny interlocking crystals of a single type of mineral. Jade can be used to create elaborate and intricate shapes because of its high fracture toughness, meaning simply it doesn't break very easily, and also because it's very resistant to scratching, around 5.5 to 6.5 on the most hardness scale. These characteristics make it ideal for uses like jewelry and sculpture. It is quite fast being a, um, such a big wheel and being um, a coarse grit diamond, but it's, um, it's just in order to sort of shape them out quite quickly. The finishing work is most of the um, time. So that's the step we're up to now. There's the fish hook is probably the second most popular. The crossover design is probably the most popular. We make as many of them as we can, but we're, we're always making them. We just can never keep up with them. But the, the good thing about this job is like not one, like you're never making the same thing just like that. Every day you're making something different. So far we've talked about how jade forms and how it's worked into pieces of art. But how about finding jade? And it takes a trained eye, the right beach, and a fair bit of patience. So we're walking along a beach uh, just uh, outside of Greymouth, New Zealand, looking for jade. It's mixed in with all these other kinds of rocks, so it's a real challenge to uh, find it. Our guide, Ken, here is walking ahead of us. He's got his eye tuned, and hopefully we'll find some. So how far do we walk? Uh, 100 meters or so. And we turned up a little piece of jade. I would have, I would have squashed yeah. it down into the ground. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, there we go. Success. Westland, New Zealand. Nephrite Jade. Beautiful.